We'll get to that story in a minute. But first tonight, this week, the Sioux Falls City Council will decide on the addition of video lottery machines to four different suites at the same location. Tell Lands Dan Santella looks at the rules ahead of tomorrow night's vote. Dan? Don South Dakota codified law says that there can't be more than 10 video lottery machines at a licensed establishment, meaning a bar or a lounge. But a bar or lounge can be connected to an enterprise in that same building, and the same person can own that enterprise. South Dakota Lottery also has rules governing separate and distinct facilities. Every licensed establishment must have its own exits and entrances. Last month, the Sioux Falls City Council listened to requests for adding video lottery at suites 101, 102, 103, and 104 at 6010 South Cliff Avenue near 69th Street. We've had one or two units, uh, and then recently we started to see three. There's one, for example, down near, near where I live at 41st and Ellis. And now we're talking about four. I don't know how many units are in the strip mall, but you potentially could have an entire strip mall full of video lottery. This is way outside of what the legislature intended by limiting 10 machines per casino. And, you know, we would have never done this six years ago. By a five to two vote, the council decided to defer the decision until tomorrow, September 13th. Jamie Palmer, licensing specialist with the city attorney's office, says there are more than 1,600 video lottery machines in the city. She says the number of terminals per business varies. Most have 10, but there's a lot that have seven, six, four. You know, it just depends on how much room they have. The city council meets tomorrow night at six o'clock. I'm planning to be there to cover this vote. All right, thanks a lot, Dan. Well, South Dakota's video lottery is the oldest state-run operation in the country.